Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, right now we have a Dell Inspiron 15 3000 series uh, laptop computer. We're going to be showing you how to access uh, your hard drive and your RAM in case you need to swap it out because it's bad or if you're just upgrading it. Uh, so we'll show you how to get into there. Uh, reminder, check out the description in the video first. We have a lot of frequently asked questions we update, related videos. Uh, so if people keep asking for, for the same videos or same questions, we're going to put it in there uh, to help you out uh, if, if you're looking for it. So uh, first thing you want to do uh, to get this computer apart, we're going to pop off your keyboard. If you'll notice on top of your keyboard, there's one, two, three, four, five clips that are holding this keyboard in. So we're going to undo each of those clips. Got a little flat metal pry tool. Okay, so we undid all five. It slides right out. It's got a ribbon cable here. Uh, if, you, if you've done this before, the ribbon cable slides into the port and there's a plastic bar that snaps up to release the ribbon cable and snaps down to uh, secure it. So we don't want to poke our motherboard with a metal tool. So instead of using a flathead, we're going to use this plastic pry tool. We're going to slowly and gently pry up that plastic part to slide the ribbon cable out because these things are very breakable, these little plastic parts. Uh, so be careful. Also, good thing you're watching a video first because this ribbon cable needs to be unattached as well. And I'll show you why once we get into it. So I'll pop that up, take this ribbon cable out. So that's free. Now there are going to be several screws under here. I have three. Um, it looks like someone's already been in this because it looks like there should have been two more. Uh, so just go nice and slow. Take your time looking around. It's worth taking a couple seconds and making sure you have all the screws out. Okay, so I've got my three. Again, it looked like there were more at, at one time, but I've got all my screws out. So we'll go ahead and close this up, flip it over. Now we'll finish taking out the rest. This battery, there's one uh, slider that comes out just like that, and the battery pops out. Set that aside. We'll go around the outside, take off all these screws. This helps if you have a magnetized screwdriver. That way you don't have to keep picking the laptop up and flipping it upside down to bang these screws out. It just comes up with the screwdriver. Okay, so I've taken all the screws out around. Uh, there's one more here in the middle. This releases your DVD drive. Now that should slide right out. Uh, also, there's one, two under where the battery was. Take those out. And there are three screws under where the DVD drive was. So we'll take those out. These are little flat ones. Now that these are all out, this should just pop right up. Again, it's worth, if you're not used to this double checking, you don't want to be prying this up while, uh, while there's a screw in it. But we'll take our flat, uh, small metal, pry tool will go along the seam and gently try to pry it up. There we go. And that's why we had to undo uh, that ribbon cable that was underneath the, uh, the keyboard ribbon cable because it, it attaches to this. So if we didn't do that, It'd be stuck right now. We'd be trying to get it off. So that's why we have these videos. So you know what you're getting into first. So here's the inside of your computer. I'm, I'm going to zoom into the area where you want to see the hard drive and the RAM. So this is your hard drive right here. And these are your two RAM slots right here. Now the RAM will do first, it's really easy. Uh, RAM in laptops is generally held in this way. There are two little spring-loaded arms that are holding it in place. We're just gonna push those arms out a little bit and the RAM stick will slide up. See, it just slides right up, slide it right out. Same thing here, slides right out. 
So you're gonna put your ram back in. Generally speaking, there's a shorter teeth section and a longer one. So make sure you get that in there correctly. And then to put it in, it just snaps down in place. Like that. As long as you get it in all the way, it just snaps down. And it's secure. Uh, if you want to upgrade your RAM and you want to know how to find out which is the correct RAM to buy, look in the description. Uh, we'll have a video link there uh, that takes you through a little tutorial over how to find out which, which RAM is right for your computer. Because just because it physically fits doesn't mean it's, it's compatible. Now as far as your hard drive, a little more extensive with your hard drive. Uh, hard drives are put generally into something called a caddy to get it secure in the computer so it doesn't uh, jostle or, or come loose. So we're going to unscrew all four screws that are holding that caddy in place. All right. So now the caddy and the hard drive are free. We're going to pick it up and be careful. We're, we're going to unplug it. There you go. So this is your hard drive inside a caddy. So to take this out, you're going to unscrew the four screws holding it in. Now these are special screws. These are not the same size as the screws in the rest of the computer. So keep these separate. Okay. So the hard drive is free now. You can take it right out of the caddy like that. Uh, again, um, make sure you're getting the right hard drive that's compatible and make sure you have the orientation in the caddy right. So we took it out like this. So make sure you don't put it in like this or like that because it's not going to fit. Uh, so put the new hard drive in the same way and then you can go ahead and start putting those screws back in the caddy. Again, a magnetized screwdriver comes in handy. Oops. Okay, so we got our hard drive secure in the caddy. Now we're going to put it back in the same way. So we're going to plug our hard drive back in, set it down. And we'll put our screws back in to re-secure the caddy into the computer. Alright. Now just to quickly show you how to shut this thing all back up. So there, you've seen how to replace your RAM, replace your hard drive. So we're going to shut this thing back up now. So we're going to take the bottom case back over. Uh, just a quick note, make sure to get this ribbon cable back under this slot when you're putting it down. It may take a little bit of effort to see under there. There we go. Alright. Gonna go ahead and uh, I'll zoom you back out. Alright, so we'll replace all of our screws. We'll get those three little flat ones for the under the DVD port. One, two, three. It's always a test to see if you're going to have more screws loose. Put the DVD drive back in, and then we'll secure it with the screw. Then we'll put in these two screws under the battery. Okay, so 
battery can go back in now. Flip it over, get the keyboard back in. Oh, and there's our ribbon. So I'll fish that out. And we'll put that in the port. So I'll pop that little plastic thing up, push it down, and then we'll replace these three screws that were in here to hold this part down. Alright, now bring in your keyboard, get this ribbon cable, pop that little bracket up, slide the ribbon cable in. Um, if you haven't done this a lot, that may take a few tries to, to get that in. Just be patient, don't force it because again you can break it. Just keep trying to get it level, keep trying to get it straight. Um, and it's got a little white line indicator to make sure that, that it's flush. Then you put the bottom in first and then snap the top back in. And that's how you would uh, upgrade or replace your hard drive uh, and or your RAM in a Dell Inspiron uh, 15 3000 series computer. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them below. We try to get back to you at least a couple times a day uh, to help you going through whatever you're going through. Uh, and if this was helpful, please like and share. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.